Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Kailea, if you're new here. My glasses. Should be wearing my glasses. I wanted to keep this intro short. Today, we are gonna watch Legend of Korra book two, episode five. I'm really gonna keep this intro short because I'm really excited to watch the next episode. So in the last episode, pretty much the Northern and the Southern Water Tribe are engaging in a civil war. We found out that Unalak did Tarlock dirty and got him banished from the Northern Water Tribe, which is beyond me. I find it really great how complex they made Unalak's character. So you know, kudos to the writers for that. But at the same time, yeah, how dare you? We know that Varric was behind the rebellion and now things have just escalated into a full on war. So that's where we're headed. Other than those things, not that much else to say. Please remember to subscribe to the channel to see more reactions and vlogs. And as always, like the video. We are gonna get right into it. Book two, Spirits, chapter five, Peacekeepers. All right. Lynn! Oh, I miss seeing Lynn. Welcome home, Avatar. Thanks for starting a war. Okay. I didn't, well, I did, but it's more complicated than you're making it seem. Mako, I want you back on the beat. There's going to be a Southern Water Tribe peace march tonight. I need you there to make sure things don't get out of hand. You know, already off the bat, I, I can tell that this episode's animation is like... What? Side will only make things worse. They, they change studios, right? Or like from this point on, they change studios for the animation or something like that? I can tell. I like that Varric has his priorities straight. So, uh, what should I be doing? That's what I thought. Okay, they're gonna get into some trouble. Increase security around the spirit portal. Unalak, you slimy snake. What's going on with the toilet? <laughs> Oh my god, Eska. You two go after the Avatar. I'll find her. I need her I'm liking the, the psycho girlfriend vibes though. All over. No, no, you okay, but like the animation here works. seems like more crisp. When they were in Republic City, it was like only their mouths were moving, which was very interesting. Command respect. Uh, maybe I can help. How would you like your old dad to teach you how to be a master trainer? I love how much Tenzin just wants to help. Like his kids, Korra, the world. Outside of the Southern Water Tribe Cultural Center, the Avatar is leading a group of Southerners in a peaceful protest against. Wow. But the Northerners have come out in droves in support of their leaders. Well, this is so modern with peaceful protesting and. Hey, oh, and suddenly the animation looks better, like all over the Republic place. City Police. What was that beginning? Oh my gosh. What is this? Oh my. Oh, good thing he's a firebender and he can just... Nah, that's not gonna hurt me. Okay, so bombing the Southern Water Tribe Cultural Center. Not good. Look at these embers in the animation. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful. Awful, but beautiful. Alright, I don't know what the first five minutes were, but... The animation in the first five minutes was like, not it. The Northern Water Tribe is out of control. I saw a firebender running away from the blast. The North might not be responsible for this. Of course they're responsible. Who else would it be? Who else would it be? Could it be Varric? Usually, when I see flashing lights like this, flash lights. Okay. But there's nowhere I'd rather be than pro bending night in Republic City. And the humiliating losing. I mean, that gets pretty old. Well, Sometimes but Cora and Mako weren't even playing, so the team wasn't really in. Uh... I guess what I miss the most are these fans. I think I just figured out your true calling. I was a big contributor to his election campaign. So, the Southern Water Tribe? Just a second. Keep smiling. Ah, publicity. Now, how can I help the Avatar and my most generous supporter? Unalak's troops have invaded the South. We need you to send the United Forces to help. The Republic is already involved in this conflict. The North attacked our cultural center last night. Believe me, we are doing everything we can to bring the people responsible to justice. Are you? The people responsible? Who else would it be but the Northerners? 
I'm trying to save my tribe, and you're taking pictures. Sending troops is not something I can do at this time. But I promise I will work with Unalak and the South for a diplomatic solution. Now I'm sorry, but my mind is made up. This means my family is going to be wiped out, and it'll be on your head for doing nothing about it. This is so political is an understatement, but it's like so realistic to politics that have gone on for years. I'm sure he cares, but he can't just tell his people to go fight a battle at the South Pole that has nothing to do with them. Well, you're not helping me. I'm trying to get troops to the South. What are you doing? I'm just trying to save the world. Well, you wouldn't have to if you didn't keep messing it up. <laughs> when are they going to break up? You're the one who's like this. It's just not, it's not doing it for me. I have to talk to Varric. Yeah, me too. Okay, now the animation is back to like that. The first five minutes. <laughs> The consistency oh, is hello. interesting See, in this episode. Told you I could do it. Let's do this. Varric has some questionable methods, but if it works, it works. We just need the troops. I know General Iro. No, oh, here we go. Iro's back. Perfect. And you need to sell some mecha tanks. I know some people who need them. Oh man, we'll we're really going. Out. We're really going all out. They need troops. They need mecha tanks. We're like, we're going. All this far? They're serious. Okay, now I'm getting now I'm getting hyped. Okay, there. You j he's just Julie, he's so extra. Ideas to research and development. I had a film crew documenting the entire northern invasion. Ooh, that's scary. That actually made my heart stop a second. Hero of the South. This man. You know what? I gotta respect this man and like all of his side hustles. He's like doing the most. He's gonna help Asami sell her mecha tanks to the south, and he came up with this great idea for Korra to get General Iro to fight Unalak without President Raiko ever even knowing. That's a terrible idea. I mean, now that I've heard Bo Lin say the plan, it sounds a little, I don't know, risky. Something doesn't make sense about this bombing. I just don't buy that the Northern Water Tribe was behind it. Yeah, that's a little sus. Now call Pokey. Pokey, come here. He had the assertiveness down. You're rewarding him for bad behavior. That's psychology right there. You're not supposed to do that. Oh. I know. We're working on it, sir. We'll work harder. Jeez. You know how hard the work is, and you just be like, work harder. Like, sir, why don't you do your job as president? Indeed, the guy saw the scene. He's a member of the Agni Kais. Someone must have hired him to make And so the Agni Kai's make a comeback. Finally, we get to learn more about the gangs here. I've heard good things about you. You've made some big triad busts for a rookie. Thank you, sir. And you're dating the Avatar, right? Why is that important? Sir, I'm concerned that she might be getting some bad advice from Varric. You mm -hmm. wouldn't happen to know if they're plotting anything that might compromise the security of Republic City? You're a man of the law before anything else. There's something you should know. Oh, Mako the Snitch! Thank you for seeing me, General Iro. I mean, it doesn't feel it doesn't feel right to go behind their back, but the president is refusing to give the order. We'd have no choice but to defend ourselves, wouldn't we? Swapping old war. Yikes. Mr. President. I hope you're not planning to take any military action without an order from your commander in chief. Your activities here are bordering on insurrection. The Avatar does not command the military of the Republic. Don't go behind my back again. But you should talk to the Fire Lord. My mother and grandfather have always been good friends to the Avatar and the Southern Water Tribe. I'm sure they'll be willing to help. Thank you, General. We're gonna see Zuko. Oh my god, Bolin. It's the latest this is, um, this is interesting. Paradise. Where are you going? The Fire Nation. I'm going to try to get them to help us out. <laughs> I need a boat. I'm like, I'm overwhelmed with information right now. President Raiko showed up. Someone must have tipped him off. She's going to the front. Okay. No okay. Okay, I'm excited. And Mako, there's no way Mako would have told. Right? Pokey, sit. <gasps> he did it. Roll over. He learned. Good boy. I trained all the way. <sighs> Watch. Oh my gosh. Good for Milo. No, Tenzin, you've created a master. Jeez. You ratted me out to the president? Explain why my boyfriend stabbed okay, me. Okay, Cor, it's not it. The president of the Republic asked me a direct question. He's doing his job. You betrayed me and my family. 
fight. Cora. All right, that was that was a little uncalled for. Look, I have a job to do. Maybe there's no room for our relationship. So what? So we're done. Breaking up with me? Yeah. Okay, like that. What? I'll talk about that what later. The what the flameo? I broke up with the avatar. You got off. I'm so glad Lynn said that. Have seen Air Temple Island after Tenzin broke up with me. I want to see that. But yeah, I don't think this is the right way to do things, Cora. But I know you're you're emotionally motivated, so what is that? Oh no, not the twins! Powerful water bending. Oh my gosh! Man, let's just let's just take a moment and wow, that is some powerful water bending. What is that? Is that a spirit? What? Oh my god. It's- Oh my gosh! That's terrifying! Oh my god, they're all up in the water! That's scary. Okay, go. Get your purification on. Come on. You can do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Do it! I- uh, it, it wasn't gonna finish, I knew it. What is up with that? Oh my gosh. Is it gonna take her to the spirit world if- if that it ate her? So... Is that what's gonna happen here? Oh my god! It's over! <laughs> wait, what? Oh, wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Why did that episode go by extremely fast? That writing was just like, bam, 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 hitting all the right points and just, that, like, that was it. So... Varric was running this plan on the backside, which is not sitting right with the president. It's not really sitting right with me either, the more that they start talking about it. So I don't know what's gonna happen there, but I just, I think things are gonna, I think it's gonna be good. Let's see, the main point of conflict, the relationship between Korra and Mako. I was not a fan of it since book one. It was just, I didn't really wanna touch upon it too much. In the other episodes, I was just like, let me focus on the other plot relevant things. But now it's very apparent that their relationship is plot relevant. Their little fight, I understand that Korra is, she's worried, she's worried for her tribe and her parents, but it's also like blinding her from thinking about this situation clearly and rationally and strategically because she's getting this fishy, suspicious information from Varric. Mako knew about it, but he's also a cop, so he had to tell the truth to the president, which was conflicting because it's like, yes, Cora, that's that's his girlfriend. It's like, I'm gonna rack her out and be a snitch. Yes, he had to do that. I mean, he had no other choice. He had to do it for the sake of his job because he took an oath and he couldn't lie. I think it would have been worse if he lied to the president and then they found out that way, because that would just explode into another political mess. And speaking of politics, I'm very surprised, but also glad to see how political some of these episodes can get. Like, especially with this episode and back in book one where they were having the protests, the non-benders were protesting. In this episode, the Southern Water Tribe w were advocates for like having a peaceful protest. That was very reflective of like real life. I would call this a teen show at this point because if kids are watching this and they're not really like, they don't really understand like the depth that the show is going, this show is taking all of those steps and going further much further which is awesome really it's just hyping up now we're getting to a point where things are starting to rev up and we're getting ready for war and then the ending where Korra is literally just swallowed by a spirit and it's just it ends like that I was like wait a second and now I'm like freaking out they mentioned Zuko and I like I've lost my like focus for a second I was like this is now Avatar the last airbender but they mentioned Zuko and for a second, I almost forgot that he was still alive. We're gonna see Zuko. I'm gonna see Zuko again, and he's old, and <laughs> I'm really excited for that. So I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and I hope you have a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you are. Please remember to drink water, have a little something to eat, and don't forget, you're doing great today. Bye! Thank you.